Despite calls for his resignation, an embattled San Diego Unified School Board member refuses to step down. Now there's an effort underway that would give the school board the power to remove a member. News 8's Richard Allen is live in University Heights with more on the proposal. Richard? And Marcella, right now the school board is powerless to remove Kevin Beiser from office. In fact, to remove a school board member from office now, that requires a special recall election, requiring 15% of all registered voters to sign a petition. But this new move would amend the city charter, giving the school board the authority to initiate this removal. It's further unfortunate that the school board had to recommend the Filner rule for Kevin Beiser which is what's being considered here today. The so-called Filner rule passed by voters in 2016 in the wake of former San Diego Mayor Bob Filner's sexual harassment scandal made it easier to remove elected city officials. Years later, it's school board member Kevin Beiser who's now embroiled in a scandal of his own after four men have come forward alleging sexual harassment and sexual assault, allegations that Beiser has firmly denied. And while his fellow board members have asked that he step down, Beiser, who had worked as a middle school teacher, continues continues to serve on the board. At Tuesday night's school board meeting, which Beiser left early, the remaining members voted on a resolution that urged city leaders to advance a proposal giving the school board power to launch a special removal election. And they could be removed for cause for dereliction of duty, if they're convicted of any crimes. All those things would call for a special election to remove that elected official. City Council Member Chris Kate was one of two council members behind the proposal, which cleared its first hurdle in the Rules Committee on Wednesday afternoon. Kate has also called for Beiser to step down from office, along with a growing chorus of other local leaders. If you look at all the circumstances that are, that are at play, the inability to do, do his job, I think that just comes forward that you get elected to do that job, and if you're not able to do that, you should give it up for the next person in line. And the Rules Committee will vote on this proposal once the city ha attorney has the opportunity to refine the details of the proposal. From there, it goes on to the full city council before San Diego voters vote on this ballot measure sometime in 2020. Barbara Lee. Richard, thank you.